So, remember when you added a circuit for the receptacles? Let's make one for our lights. Jump into Revit. In the project browser, I am under Electrical, Lighting, Ceiling Plans, and I am currently in Level 1. Now, remember, we had to add a special panel that's going to accept the 277 volts. Let's go into one of our lighting fixtures. Select either of these two lighting fixtures in our ceiling. Notice, because it's a lighting fixture, we can create a power and a switch circuit. Let's click Power. Notice for connection type, it's not applicable because we have to select the panel. The only compatible panel is going to be LP1. Now the connector type will be a breaker. We've already selected the panel, but let's come over here and click on Edit Circuit. Hold down your control key. Notice that there's a little plus sign next to your cursor. So we can select this lighting fixture. For the load name, let's see what it says. Lighting dwelling unit office 101. Let's get rid of everything but office 101. Click apply. That's so easy. Click finish editing circuit. Again, if you hover over the light fixtures, hit tab. We'll see that those two are part of the circuit. Hit escape a couple times. Now, if you select one of your lighting fixtures and we scroll down, panel LP1, circuit number is 1. Hit escape a couple of times. Let's select this lighting fixture, create power. Panel is LP1. For the load name, let's click on Edit Circuit. Again, for the load name, let's get rid of lighting dwelling and just keep the word reception 102. Click Apply. Click Finish. Now let's add this one. Select this lighting fixture here. Select Power. For the load name, same deal. They don't give you much room to work in here, do they? So we'll just keep it as storage 103. Click Apply. What I'd like to do now is let's come down here and find our lighting panel. Select it. Click Create Panel Schedules. Let's use Default Template. Now we should have three circuits on this panel. There you go. That's how you create a lighting circuit.